Hey, hey, this is Raibu, a.k.a. Damien AM. What's up? What's up? We're on the Tech City Feed the Beast server, the new map, and this is my new house. Um, I like tall houses, so I got it to where I can see a little bit. There's a portal house and a few other things. I'll show you around right away. Right away. Okay, a little mini tour. I'll give you a tour about my of my house in a minute. All right. This has changed since the last time I was online. Definitely. Um, I don't know who made these road things, but they feel like walk. You're walking on ice, and I really don't like that at all. So, let's start over here on this side of things. Okay. This is our power plant. And our power plant is powered by all of those solar panels over there. Okay. War Commando is still working on some of these things here, which is okay. This is our charging stations for the um, for the turtles, who one of which you are going to meet soon. Okay, down here, some energy cells. I'm not sure what he wants to do with down here, but. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it will be epic. Alright, let's go out of here. Alright, um... Over here to the left is War Commando's house. Or like he calls it, uh... <laughs> what is it? Bond or in a server headquarters. It's got that whole um, Department of Social Services feel, you know, where you have to go through the through the lines just so you can come up here and fill out a bunch of paperwork, and you have to wait a couple of hours before any of the paperwork means anything. Yeah, whatever. We'll just bypass that. And let's see what he's got up here. Whoa. He's got a hole that I could fall into. That's what he's got. Okay, up here he has a nice little room. Let's see, these are item test racks. It must be, this must be his processing station. Here's his little bedroom. Looks like there might have been doors here at one point. Let's see, go downstairs. And even on the last server, War Commando has had this amazing area, I would say. Where he has everything nice and labeled out. There's a Stormcraft room. I need to make some of these here. And then. What was this room? Portal and Steve Carts. I don't know what that is. But you see that he has a pretty cool design. Just this, actually the same design, like I said, the same design he had in the old place, but just down here. Um, up here is, of course, a lot different than it was before. Um, how do you get out, man? Nope, 
that's not how I want to get out. So, let's see. It is raining outside, so i kind of not in the um, I'm not in the cleaning mood today or I'm not in the work mood today either. Um, I'm working on a card game, a children's card game, and I just decided today I'm going to take a break. Okay. So when you come onto the server, if you happen to be one of those lucky people, spawns over there. And we're working on having it to where, is it over here? No, spawns not over here. Don't listen to me, spawns not over here. Spawn is over there. Complete opposite direction for where I was sending you. So, let's go over there real quick. So, here we have this huge computer screen. And War Commando wants to have all the server rules printed here so that when people come onto the server you, know, you have to come this way to get to the spawn town and then get your plot and everything and you can stop and read the rules for the server then you come down this way and you could get a plot so right now, let's see, we're still waiting on Shoddy, and we're still waiting on Kida. Let's see, there's two more plots up here. They're connecting plots. Of course, you know, you get those connecting plots for people who... Um, play together a lot like me and Diana. So here's Astok and Day. They have connecting plots We're I guess waiting on them to get on again as well um, This is an idea that war is working on of making an apartment complex He wants It's pretty much your your same thing as your plots except you're in an apartment building instead. <laughs> um, that's kind of obvious. Uh, I think the plots are a little bit smaller, though. Um, so we've got Metavoxel. He works with um, Dungeon Realms. So his plot's there. This is Jono. Jono's plot. A good friend of mine, classmate as well. This is Shino's. I think he took his sign down though. And he has weird noises coming out of it. So I think he has like this SM dungeon down in the basement or something. So you got Tubbo Ojeba. This is Diana's house. It's not finished. She's kind of like beef. This is going to take forever before it has a roof. Just to let you know. Okay, and this one. I haven't met this person yet. But this is Rima's spawn house. So. What else we have here at spawn is this portal house. Since we are now able to use Mistcraft. But of course. Um... It is being restricted because um, some worlds, like the mining world, might have a chance of um, destroying the, um, messing up the world. So, um, 
Of course, some of these have, since they're corrupted, they have some slight features that are harmful, like hunger or mining fatigue. Here's weakness. This one, you can occasionally be set on fire. So war, um, you might want to change this one. Just saying. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Second floor, we have like a bunch of things. Like here's the tree farm. You get weakness here. Um, the lava plant where, um, I think this part of the power system this one goes to the nether. Although, I'm not sure if that's the real nether. I'm not sure. Um, this is Mass Ocean. This is also where there are some... Um, um, here is... Let's see. Go in here. I think there's some... Yeah, these are liquid tesseracts for to get some water out of. And let's see, mining fatigue, which is just means you mine slow. This would be a nice place to quarry. I mean it's all ocean, so Okay, that's not a good thing. So, um, here we got the B realm. It's also a little corrupted, but it's not as bad as some of the other places. I've been helping Diana here. She's our resident beekeeper. Although, War Commando likes to come down here and. Play around a little bit. Let's see here. See, these here are making honey constantly. Others are here's like a mutation chamber that Diana made. It just sounded so country just now. That Diana made. There's some. Um, the extra bees from the honey production go into here. They go into the gene pool, get turned into BNA. Yes, I say BNA just like generic B instead of DNA. Because it's just, I just like the way it sounds. So there. Here's the honey. Of course, there's a bunch of other stuff that comes out of this. That Diana regulates. And we'll be using to do more things for the server. Here she has all of her bees. She hasn't put anything in here, I don't think. Oh, there she is. There it is. She's just separating a few things to make sure she has extra bees for what she needs. There's the power area for this. This is where they get analyzed. It's a pretty cool system. All you have to do is put something in this box here it'll go over to the analyzer over there and then come out here and then you have your analyzed bees so um, let's see let's get out of here I think I might be in track over here. Um, let's see. I think that's about it for the tour. So. Oh, no. There's also one other place. Oh, I hate these iron doors. 
Okay, I like. Okay, I don't mind the iron doors. I just hate buttons because they don't keep them open long enough. So, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. And then I'm going to show you another spot that I like to go to. Good morning, everybody, and it's another beautiful day on the server. So if you're wondering about this, this here, this is the community area for resources so like if you go mining anything which i'll show you in my setup you send anything extra to this tesseract and it'll filter it into here and then if you don't need it somebody else will come along and they can grab whatever it is you don't need this is better than uh, just um, burning stuff, sending it, uh, putting it into lava, or just uh, sending it into a void pipe because somebody might need it. So um, why throw it away? Okay, let's go this way. So I made it daytime. Now it's snowing, which means mobs are probably going to be out soon again anyway. I had some dogs on this server, but they disappeared somehow. I don't know. I don't know what happened to them, but... Eh, when I'm ready for it, I'll go get more, I guess. So... Right over here, which is really lucky... Diana found this village. She decided to go out with, um... She went out to explore the area and found this awesome little uh, village. And the two of us have been working to keep it alive, we'll say. Um, we went ahead and did a fence border, cobblestone fence border, and I built the infinite breeding cell up there so we have quite a few villagers for people to trade with anybody can come down and trade with a villager um, there's also a couple of golems so don't piss off the villagers or try to kill them or anything because they will get you there's the chicken farm but for some reason like half of the chickens It always looks like half of the chickens are stuck. So I don't I don't mess with it much. Um, you see this house? This is a house that we built. Made it to mock one of the other houses. And hopefully we'll be able to get some of these villagers to move in because they're staying more in the center area here and they're not really going into any of these houses this here two houses spawned on top of each other so we gotta fix that so essentially what we think is what happened is that two villages spawned on top of each other and that's why the houses look this house looks the way it does um, otherwise, everything else looks fine. We made sure that it is completely spawn-free here. Little mining action that we've been doing.
And of course, we've taken one of the further houses away from the center as the headquarters for this little village. But this is more, more, more or less um, Diana's base. So. She's been doing a lot of stuff here when she's not in the B realm. With her tree farm, and she's in my farms for everything else, pretty much. And look at these deals 24 oak wood, and you get an apiary. Same thing. They're twins. How about that? This guy. I guess he's from Miscraft. This guy's from Thomcraft. Blacksmith. Every once in a while you'll see babies running around here. I had to block that off. Do I have any cobble to replace that? No, I don't. Okay. Well, that's it for the tour. In the next episode... I'm going to go ahead and start off a few turtles today because I need resources. And um, although the, the head of our um, server here is a very generous person as far as resources are concerned they're all spawned in and you know that kind of takes the fun out of it a little you know so i'm gonna go ahead and start digging so i could get some resources and you know come up with some things on my own because you know that is what it is about you know it's not just about building and trying to make something epic it's also about surviving and seeing how you can do things on your own so i'm also going to be soon looking for my own little base as soon as i have enough resources to do so so over the rather and through the woods to grandmother's house we go Okay, um, not going to grandmother's house. I'm going back to spawn so I can get my turtles and get the other things I need for my little uh, quarrying area that I found and search for a few others and I'll see you in the next episode.